how to create remarketing video ads for your YouTube videos using the latest Google Ads user interface and settings. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can create remarketing for your videos. First, you need to link your YouTube channel with Google Ads. You can do that from your settings, channel, under advanced setting, you can link Google Ads account with your YouTube channel. Rank Your YouTube channel actually has a video tutorial for that, okay? So now let's go into our Google Ads account. Here, under Tools, under Shared Library, we can press on Audience Manager. This is where you create your remarketing lists. You can segment your data, create custom segments, combine segments, analyze your data, and so on. So now let's press on audiences. And now let's press on create audience. You can provide the name, let's say YouTube channel videos as an example. Basically, you will create an audience that has viewed your YouTube videos or interacted with your YouTube channel because Google Ads offers you various different choices. Here, where it says your data, you can browse, as in press on browse. Here you say YouTube users. You can as we can see, people who liked a video, that's an option. Similar to liked any video from my channel, that's the power of Google Ads. So now let's imagine someone who watched a video already. So we can select that if we want. So then we can say, hmm, this audience's name, YouTube channel, um, watched as an example you can name your audience anything that's meaningful for you okay or you can anytime reselect different things go to browse and say okay what if someone unsubscribe perhaps you want to re-engage with them as in retarget them and you have that option here as well okay so basically provide a name for your audience Select your data source coming from your YouTube channel. But then again, you have different options. What if you have a website? Right. But this is a YouTube video remarketing. So I won't cover that. OK, so this is where you create your audiences for remarketing. Then you can actually go further and really drill down. Because YouTube is a vast community. Just because someone watched your YouTube videos or liked the video, that may not be powerful enough for certain cases. At that moment, you may say, hmm, okay, now let me target people in this example, like the video from my YouTube channel, but they are also interested in web services or business services in my example so depending on your google ads account and the youtube channel that you're operating you can select things differently here okay you also have an option for exclusion or we can even go further and say hmm my channel audience let's say from 18 to 25 years old if that's the case you can select the demographics accordingly okay when you see things here unknown, as far as Google systems are concerned, they just don't know. I would encourage you to actually leave this in place. You can obviously target perhaps males, females, and so on. We also have additional. You can perhaps anytime you want to learn more, you can press on the help section, okay? On the right-hand side, Google Ads will show you how many impressions that you may get impressions are 
let's say YouTube showing your ad, your video ad, whether people click it or not, that's counted as an impression. When they click it, that's when you pay for your video ads anyway, okay? So first, you create your audience. And here you want to spend that bit of time to create thorough audiences. So now let's cancel out of that because now we will say you know how to create remarketing lists for your YouTube videos and your YouTube channel. Okay. So the next step is obviously is creating our campaigns. We can press on the campaign or we can actually press on that plus icon to create our campaign. And creating video campaigns is a straightforward process. As we can see, the latest Google user interface gives us many different options here. Depending on your resources, some of these may be ideal to simply select. Or you can say, you know what? No, I want to create my, my own campaign from scratch, so to speak. If that's the case, let's press on this. Here, as we can see, the latest features are very powerful. For example, if you're pressed for time, you may actually select Performance Max, utilizing Google AI to deliver your ads. And that's powerful. But since this is related to YouTube videos, let's select Video Campaign. Here, the latest is video views this is default because as far as google systems are concerned for most youtube advertisers this is actually a good starting point okay but surely you have different settings here let's imagine your youtube channel only po you know publishes podcasts if that's the case perhaps audio as in, let's imagine someone likes to listen to your video content. If that's the case, then perhaps you can select that. But I would encourage you to explore different options here. Perhaps you can create one campaign, selecting video views, and then perhaps next couple of weeks later, or a month later, you can select a different one. Because that's how you're going to learn to really take full control of your pay-per-click ads okay then let's press continue here the required is the obviously budget that's a hundred bucks as an example how much you put there will depend on your resources here it says campaign total that means that is the total amount you're willing to pay for your video campaigns you can select start, end date, and so on. Another great feature of Google Ads is location targeting. Let's imagine your video targeting will be related to Australia and Melbourne, as an example. We can say Melbourne, Australia, and target that specific location, as in show your ads precisely in that location. Or you can add different location settings also. Here we have languages. Obviously, that's going to be very important for your video ads. In my example, let's select English is already selected. Okay, with locations, we have entered the location. Okay, that's great. Let's come out of that related videos this is actually a great feature let's imagine you have a particular video you can select two additional videos that is related to the video that you're going to advertise then we have multi-format ads you can definitely select that because as we can see google systems tells us hmm you'll get up to <laughs> 40% more views by allowing Google to find the right mix of ad formats for your campaign. Then we have additional settings. Let's take a look. Show on all devices. 
or perhaps you can select different device types according to your target audience. Let's imagine you're in USA or Australia and your target audience engages with your videos using their TVs, for example. Well, in my setting, because of the above settings, some things are not available. So when you look at this, you can read more about the, the, the campaign type. The bid strategy is, obviously, we've selected get more views. So therefore, that's the strategy we've selected. So in the previous step, if you've selected different targeting options, then the bid strategy can change. But we've told Google Ads to get the most views, which is a great feature, right? So because of that fact, I cannot select different targeting types here. Then frequency capping, what does this mean? This means you're telling Google to show your videos, let's say, show five times per day or per week as in show the ad to a particular person the number of amounts you enter there so you have that option cap view frequency this may be ideal let's imagine you select okay show my ads as in view because impressions are shown without someone interacting with your ads. And yet, if you select per view, as in cap view frequency, as in allow someone to view it twice, view your ad twice per day. That seems reasonable, but surely you can select or unselect that, okay? Ad scheduling. Depending on the video type, video ads you're running, that may be ideal. So basically, what you need to do is slowly go through the settings. Demographics, you can select things differently here. But because this is about remarketing, the audiences that you've created will be available for you here. Okay? Or you can select different ones. Let's imagine we've created a list for people who watch the video from Ranker YouTube channel. If that's the case, I can select that. That is how you do remarketing for your YouTube video ads. Then we can obviously enter some keywords or we can enter a related website. So if you're operating a website, you can enter that information here and let Google systems analyze your website and perhaps suggest some ideas for you here as well. Okay, so topics, you can add more. Anytime you add more um, settings here, the amount of your reach will go down a bit, but that's okay because that's what you want. You want to precisely target your ads. Also, placements may be ideal. Let's imagine you have a competitor YouTube channel somewhere. Then you can select a certain YouTube channel. And then, you know, when someone watches their channel, then your video ads can show up on the left on the overlay and so on okay so play placements are about that and that will definitely become helpful as you start advertising with google ads for your youtube videos okay then here which video you want to advertise obviously you can select a video from your youtube channel let's imagine i want to advertise this one here Let's do something like this. Let's edit the video. Let's copy the URL, which is this. This is the video link. Then I would place that there and let Google systems take the video 
and show you how it's going to preview and so on. Here it says videos longer than three minutes don't usually perform well as, in, as well as shorter videos. So to take advantage of better video ads, perhaps you can create a video specifically for your advertisement purposes. Having said that, surely most small business owners they just want to advertise their own YouTube uploaded videos. So that's still okay to do so, okay? And then if you're using multi-format video ads, you can select final URL. Final URL would be wherever the page you want the, the viewer interacting with your ads to go to. You can provide headlines and description for your ad and you can even set target CPV bid. I would encourage you to be really thoughtful about this. If you're running video ads through YouTube user interface, because promotions, basically you simply set your total budget and you don't have control over how much you're willing to pay per click. But when you create your video ads, then you have that option. Okay, so you can definitely read more about it. Anytime you're uncertain about something in Google Ads, you can press on the help section and then read more about the insight that you want to learn more about okay and then it's just a matter of pressing on create campaign and that's how you create video retargeting ads for your youtube videos the experience that i can share with you is simply test different ads and different videos because if you're new to remarketing with Google Ads for your YouTube videos, at the beginning, much of these things will sound complex. So therefore, when Google systems suggest certain things, then you want to utilize that. That's the beginning. So perhaps you advertise five to 10 videos and use different settings and then a month later perhaps you can come back and analyze your reports in terms of how your videos have performed so i won't create the ad because this was a tutorial i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session